Hi, I'm at the dog park, um, the one that I was showing yesterday. So it's it's 25 degrees here in Melbourne, uh, but there's a lovely breeze. I've tried to contact my doggy park friends to meet us here, but um, one's unable to and the other one is um, says it's too hot. Her dog didn't like it, which is all good. Um, so I'm basically here by myself. Thankfully, it's entirely closed in, which means when I'm walking boss, I don't actually have to walk boss. There's my beautiful boy and that. But I have decided that instead of reading my book, I just pick up all the rubbish. Like there is so much of it. Obviously I'm gonna use, you know, doggy bags and whatnot um, to do so because, you know, COVID times and all that fun. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Yesterday I completed getting uh, all but one of the weeks for my exam prep ready to be um, bound into booklets for me and Graham. Um, I've just got one week to do and I, well I was looking at it this morning but I was just like, it's gonna get too hot, boss really needs a bar, uh, well he needs a run, he needs a bath. Um, I'm still yet to attempt bathing boss in my bathroom, my shower's over my bath, but um, yeah, he doesn't even like being bath, bath when I go to the do-it-yourself dog bath, uh, bath at the um, pet store, which is where we're going to go after this. Uh, I've just seen that he is walking around the oval, which means my dog is chasing plastic, because at least he's getting a run. So he's running, I'm gonna clean up the rubbish that I've found because who else is gonna do it um, and you know why not right put something good into the world something good will go back come back paying it forward I'm a big believer in paying it forward I don't even do stuff to get things back I just like to do things to make the world just that little bit of a better place because oh dark days come and you know it's days like this I like to remind myself that the world isn't a really bad place and um, I'm doing so much better than I you know usually am um, like less than 24 hour turnaround in between the PTSD tri being triggered um, and yeah I I'm feeling good I did speak to my doctor this morning I have told her that my emotional dysregulation is being triggered a lot and lately. I, I don't really know why, except maybe this extended life we're living, like, you know, um, in isolation, lockdown rules, things like that. So here in Melbourne, we are being told we cannot go to the, uh, you know, like the in-person COVID testing because the results are taking over a week to get back. The systems are being just backlogged like crazy, um, but I'm still stuck in this predicament where I'm not vaccinated due to my doctor's advice that came out and that was given to me before the mandates came out. Um, but all the home tests are sold out everywhere. Like I've been to my pharmacist already, they're like, good luck. So I've been told this morning uh, with the results that I got, um, basically that, oh, that's probably not good, uh, basically I was told that A, my immune system is shit, um, I have 206 antibodies fighting my thyroid, according to my doctor it's meant to be 35 and under, 206 is obviously a big difference, um, so they're going to be monitoring that. And in regards to my emotional dysregulation, I asked if I could increase my mood stabilizers to see if that will make a difference. Because I'm actually really good with where I'm at in life and I'm happy, you know, 90% of the time. It's just when I'm triggered into feeling like I've done something really wrong or I've hurt someone without meaning to, especially someone that means something to me, um, I, I, like I said, I'm not I'm not here in the prison anymore. I just flash straight back. So PTSD is very real. It can happen to anyone. Um, you know, if you want to see what else I'm dealing with and how I cope in life, 
please join me on my website at www.lifesastory.blog and uh, yeah that's it for me and my video today I'll uh, upload it now